morning children <coughs> so we have completed the previous lesson in the last class and now it's time for us to learn a, another lesson a new lesson and this is quite an interesting lesson because it is about a circus show so what do you mean by a circus show have you ever gone to a circus show hmm? a circus show is a show in which we can see uh, people, animals, individually or together do a lot of activities. Some of them are fun, some of them are, uh, you know, serious activities which can uh, thrill us. Huh? Some can be, you know, dangerous also. But uh, they show their skills in doing those activities. Some of balancing activities are there. Huh? Controlling the animals are there, plenty of making fun activities like the clowns and the jockers are uh, um, seen in the circus, right? So here in this class, in this lesson, now we are going to learn about the experience of a boy. His name is Sharat. Okay, so the boy his name is Sharat he is going to a circus show and he is going to a circus show with his friends from the school okay his friends along with him are being taken to the circus show by his teachers and uh, this is the first time Sharat is going for a circus show this is the first time Sharat is going for a circus show right Okay, so shall we go along with the Sharat and uh, understand how he felt and what happened over there as far as the circus show was concerned. Okay. So it was a fine day morning. Sharat usually sleeps something around 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh, he gets up slowly, he will go to the washroom, bathroom, brush his teeth, you know, come and all. But today was something special. And uh, he woke up, he sat on his bed, then he rubbed his eyes and then he remembered something suddenly. He remembered something suddenly. Hey, something is happening today. What is that? Yeah, our teachers are going to take us for a circus show. So the moment he remembered this, he was not active. It was not the slow mode as usual. Okay. He ran to the washroom, brushed his teeth, and he was saying, yes, we are going for a circus show today. Okay. He got ready very fast, and he was waiting for the school bus to come. He was waiting for the school bus to come, because, yeah, the teachers will be coming along with my friends, and all of us together are going for the circus show today, isn't it? Yes. So, he waited there, the school bus came, the teachers were there and then some other students are from the same class or the different other classes in the school were also there and that and all of them were sitting in the bus. So they were sitting there, the bus came there, Sharat got into the bus and all the students wished to him, Sharat, good morning. He also said, good morning friends. Okay. And the teachers made the count, how many students are there, the head count. Okay, so how many students are there? And then the teachers gave some instructions also. Because it's very important that we need to obey our teachers when we go for the picnics and these kinds of shows. So it's not just we people, no, other students, also, other people also will be coming there. The entire circus show is not going to be seen by us. There are other people also. So if we get mix up with mixed up with them. Then we will miss us others, isn't it? And it's very bad to miss up, miss the group. So when we go from the school, obviously our parents won't be there to control us, to scold us. Teachers, how many teachers will be there? Two or three teachers may be there. Then we should we should to be, we need to be very obedient, as obedient as possible. Okay, we have to obey the teachers. So, the teachers instructed the students, including Sarat, to not to get 
missed out or mixed up with other people. Sometimes even though we take a lot of care, it happens. If it happens accidentally, if it happens accidentally, we should not panic. What should you do? Yes, you should come to the gate and wait there. Okay, you should not panic. You should come to the gate, the main gate and wait there because we will be coming and you can see us or we can see you and uh, we all together will uh, go into the bus. So we will not uh, miss anybody anymore. Got it? So in case if we miss somebody, what should we do? We should not uh, yeah, get panic. Panic means we should not get worried. The only thing we need to do is wait. Get along with the people, come to the main gate and wait there so that uh, we people also will be coming and we can see to the and get into the bus, no problem. But uh, it's not an option. The only thing that the best thing that we need to do is not to miss out of the group. Okay, so this is not just for the lesson. Uh, we also will be going along with the teachers and our friends for some picnic programs we may go. Uh, we may go for some uh, sightseeing huh? or these kinds of programs. So when we go with our teachers, we need to follow the instructions given by the teachers and uh, we should follow them carefully so that we do not uh, miss out each other. Okay? Yes. So Sarat's teacher also said such kinds of things and the teachers even instructed the elder students, elder uh, students means the students are studying in the higher class. Okay, to take care of the young students, the small kids like Sarat. Okay, so they can also look after the younger ones. Then what should we do? We should obey the yes, the elder students also, the brothers and sisters from the higher classes. Okay, because they should answer to the teacher. So we should uh, obey them. Otherwise, they will complain about us. We will get the punishment. Right? So the teachers instructed the students. The teachers warned the students to not to miss out of the group. And even if by chance somebody miss out of the group, then they need to do only one thing. Along with the other people, come and wait for the group at the main gate. But uh, we should try our level best to not to miss out of the group. Right? Second thing, the elder students, the students of the higher class are asked to take care of the young students also. Sometimes while climbing on that you know, pavilion kind of a structure that is kept there, the young students may fall down. So if the elder students can take care of them, then we can avoid such kind of activity, issues also, problems also. Right? So, uh, the younger students also agreed to follow these rules kept by the teachers and uh, the elder students also agreed to take care of the young students. So everything is set. They reach the circus tent area where the circus was being played. They got out of the bus and there was a big gate. Tickets were already taken. There was no, no problem in that. So they went into the circus. So as they were going in, uh, as far as Sarath was concerned, it was his first experience actually. For the first time in his life, he was going to a circus. Okay, so he was in a lot of excitement. The moment they crossed the gate, the main gate, he started observing what is there in that. And he could see a lot of animals. Elephants were there, they were tied to some poles or something like that. Uh, then uh, horses were there, they were kept on a stable kind of a thing. Tigers were there, lions were there, monkeys were there. They were all kept in different cages. Huh? In small cages, they kept the lions, the tigers, monkeys and other animals. The parrots were there, birds were there. They were also kept in the cages. And they were roaring from the cage. They were roaring from the cage. So, Sharath was first frightened to see this lion and tiger were gone. He might have seen earlier that in a zoo, but this is a cage, inside a cage. 
Then he felt very poor and very bad about them. What a pity. They are tired over there. They cannot move freely. So he was thinking about the situation of these animals and they moved in. The elder students helped the younger students to take their seats to sit comfortably over there. There is a huge tent. It was a huge tent and it had a circular area in the middle. So these are the areas where the people sit. Okay. And there is an area in the middle. And this area in the middle was lit with the heavy lights also. Right? It was a huge tent with a circular area in the middle. Circular area in the middle. And the seating arrangements were done around this area in the middle. Okay? So that's it. People can sit in all directions and look at what is happening there in the middle of middle area. Right? Uh, these areas are actually put with the chairs. The chairs are put in those areas so that the people can sit there comfortably. Then, this was considered as a ring. The central area is called the ring. It has a special uh, uh, barricade kind of a edging. Right? And uh, this area was uh, lit brightly. The people, the area where the people were sitting, it wasn't that bright. People can simply sit over there, that's it. But uh, the entire performance is happening in this area and that area was uh, flooding with the lights. Right? The show started. There was a music band sitting in one corner and playing the latest songs. Okay? As a, uh, what we call the performance, a show of the different people, the animals as they go on. As this uh, actions and this, you know, um, what do you call it? Uh, the performance. The performance of the people and animal happened there. This chorus, the music troupe sitting in the corner, will be playing different music. Right? So when there is no show happening, when the stage setting is happening, they will play some of, uh, yeah, favorite songs or the hit songs of the time also. Right? The first people to come in were some clowns. So what do you mean by a clown? Clown is nothing else but a joker. You know jokers, no? Ah, conical talkies will be there, colored with the different, the face will be covered with colored with the different colors. You have a bun kind of a thing on the nose, huh? doing different kinds of things. Most of them funny things. Isn't it? Yeah, then you can see uh, a professional. An artist, he comes in and jumps. The clown also will try to jump, but what will happen? He will fall down. And when he falls down, what happens? The other clowns over there will uh, laugh or they also will try to do it. And they will show, they will uh, you know, show us that they are suffering from severe pain. And all the sequence make great fun for us. Okay? So the clowns came there and they started doing a lot of uh, funny tricks. And the people started to enjoy it and they started to laugh at these tricks that are being played by the jokers. Then, uh, some uh, performers came, they started you know, swinging. So there will be a swing, they will swing on that and they will uh, leave that and catch another swing over here, trapeze if we call it. Okay, so they were showing these kinds of uh, shows. And the people were, you know, excited, thrilled. Wow. And then there came two elephants. Two elephants came in. And uh, one was actually, uh, they were trumpeting. So the animal sounds are there, no? Animals also make different kinds of sound. We know that, isn't it? The dogs bark, the ball, the cats meows. Huh? Ah, trumpet is a sound made by the animals. Uh, the lion, uh, sorry, elephants. Trumpet is a sound made by the elephants. So as these two elephants came in, they were trumpeting. And uh, once they reached this particular 
a ring area, one started to play with the ball, either kicking the ball or uh, uh, yeah, it kicks the ball among the people, the people will throw it back huh? or balancing the ball on its uh, trunk, these kinds of activities. Then the second elephant was actually dancing. We already see, uh, we have already seen a music troupe sitting in the corner playing the latest music and all. Huh? Yeah. The second elephant was a dancing. Can you imagine a huge elephant dancing? How funny it is. Huh? Yeah. The people enjoyed it very much. Okay. 